campaign. We are just getting all of our social media up. We love joining you on Mondays. It's become one of our favorite days of the week. We are here at Jess FN. I'm just Jess FM. I'm just sharing my social media so you can all watch. Here we go. All right. Oh, I don't know if I want a watch party. Watch party? I don't know what that is. Me either. We're going to close that. <laughs> You're there. Turn that off. Share. All right, post. Post. Posted. Done. We are here. Happy Monday to you. Happy day, everyone. <laughs> Uh, this is Levi Cox and Austin Walsh tuning in here at Jess FM, which is www.jessfm.ca. You can listen to us live there, and you can also check us out on our Facebook page, which is www.facebook.com slash jessfm, and YouTube Live. Search Jess FM there as well. All the information's out now, so we can get right into our show. Happy Monday, everyone! So remember, you asked for it, so here we are again this happy Monday. Uh, yep, here in a little sunny Lethbridge, Alberta. The weather's really nice today. Yeah, let's talk about that. I'm really into the time change and the, the nice weather. Mm -hmm. uh, we didn't even wear a jacket, and we walked to the studio today. We did walk to the studio, and we're a block away, but we usually drive because we're those people. Mm -hmm. We're in Lethbridge. <laughs> you drive everywhere in uh, southern Alberta here. Mm -hmm. um, Actually, you know what? We didn't just walk. We actually were, um... We Briskly were... Briskly walking. It was a fast walk. Sashaying. <laughs> and why were we sashaying, Levi? We just uh, added a new thing to our... Our... Our, uh... Our plate? <laughs> no, not our plate. Like, our um, list of things we do. We're radio show hosts, hairstylists, makeup artists, drag queens, toy collectors. Singers! Singers! <laughs> now we are choreographers. Apparently. So. I don't know if we're good choreographers yet, but we definitely had a lot of help from one of our really good friends, Darian. Darian Alyssa, who's uh, modeled for Jess FM here, a uh, beautiful and talented young lady, has stepped in to save us from ourselves. <laughs> and uh, Give us some good choreo, so we're not just uh, shaking our butts. But I will say, uh, some of your choreo stayed in. Well, yeah, I did. <laughs> but, but so did some of mine. Remember yeah, this one? well. Um, so we are doing choreography, like we said, for an upcoming show uh, that we're doing here in Lethbridge on April 5th and 6th, which is our Diva Cabaret show at the casino, Pure Casino Lethbridge. This is our fifth um, annual Diva Cabaret Tickets are officially on sale at Catwalk Salon Spa. And Drunken Sailor, and come dr tomorrow. And Drunken Sailor. Uh, you can get tickets for the Friday night show or the Saturday night show. We have over 10 queens and kings. I think we have 13 one night and maybe 15 the next night. It's going to be a good, good show. Uh, we got something for everyone. Like I said, drag kings, queens, bio queens, and even a burlesque dancer. We do. So, it's going to be exciting. So come on out April 5th and 6th. Check us out there. Yeah. Tickets are $30, and you get about a three-hour show and a meet and greet. So you can see uh, Chrissy Cox and Salem Salem and all your favorite Lethbridge superstars. Superstar. Mm -hmm. We're opening the show with a large group number. I just wanted to use the same group number from last year, same song, same choreo. But we realized probably 90% <laughs> of the people buying tickets came last year so we mm, thought absolutely not yeah that's what he said so no. now we are learning our new rupaul anthem we won't tell you what it is mm -mm. but that's to enough to entice you though. open the show and mm -hmm. get us pumping um so that's what's coming up but what just happened levi what did we do over the weekend tell everyone well, we did a lot over the weekend so this weekend we had our first annual sponsor appreciation uh gala for Lethbridge Pride Fest, and it was hosted in the beautiful Catwalk Salon Spa. We never have done a party quite like this. We cleared it all out, mm -hmm. invited over 100 past sponsors and new potential Prospects. sponsors, <laughs> <laughs> and we put on a, a huge uh, variety show. We had catering from Crooked, Cal Crooked Cauldron. Thank we you so much, Corey, for that. You had some beautiful little snacks and snackatizers. It was very good. I even like kept a little side plate to eat the next day. Mm -hmm. 
And then when I went to the salon fridge, I realized that Corey had put some parfaits in there, so then we had some parfaits. <laughs> Yummy. Parfaits so, and wine. Yeah. And Barefoot Wine, thank you for donating all the booze. <laughs> Not all the booze, but all the wine. That was nice. Mm. Very nice. Yeah. So we had um, a lot of sponsors show up. It was a great turnout. Uh, we really were just, like, showing appreciation to a lot of the sponsors we had and just trying to, like, make some connections and... Uh, do all that, but uh, one way, if you're interested in being a sponsor at uh, for Lethbridge Pride, you can contact us at info at lethbridgepridefest.ca. Uh, we're doing something really cool this year, and we're doing the sticker campaign, mm -hmm. where just $50, and minimum donation of $50, you get a catwalk, a, a Lethbridge Pride <laughs> Fest 2019 sticker you put on your business, and then we're going to do or a... Or your car, or your iPod, whatever you want. Put it where you want, but yeah. we're going to do a shopping guide if you own a business. So yeah, definitely. It, it's going to be kind of like you can go to Instagram, Facebook, and you can see a list of all the businesses who support Pride. And we ask the, the LGBTQ plus uh, community to support our sponsors in these businesses because we're just so grateful we couldn't do it without you. Definitely not. We couldn't do it without a lot of people, but every uh, little bit helps everyone. All our volunteers, our pride board, it's all very necessary. So not only did we have amazing food and great company show up to this gala, but we also had some really great performers. Some was, someone uh, was in charge of the entertainment, and <laughs> I, I just really wanted to create a, a variety, and you know, I was shocked by uh, how happy... Our performers were to like give us their time. We had Benta Hansen mm -hmm. on the pianos, and I just love when she does her talks. Yeah, um, there's always like a nice, good message behind what she's playing, and she came up with a pretty cool little medley of songs that she put together. She did like two full performances. And Amazing Grace mashed with um, Let It Be. Let It Be. That, that was, was cool. amazing. Let it be. Let it be. Let it be. <laughs> Good song. <laughs> <laughs> Let it be. Stop singing Austin. Uh, stop singing <laughs> Levi. Uh, we had Francesca Dynamite, the Filipino dancing queen of Lethbridge. Yeah, and she I want to like say Filipina. Singing today or that night too. Yeah, I was blew, like, our, blew our socks off. Chrissy Cox and Salem Salem's daughter, Francesca Dynamites. You've seen her on Jess FM. <laughs> I think she had a cooking show on here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cooking with Francesca or something. Yeah, that's pretty cute. But yeah, she, me hungry. she sang and danced, and then we had the very talented Rylan Crunkle and... Rylan Kunkel? Kunkel, I would say Crunkle. And Katie Felger. They did a really amazing duet. Uh, they did a couple little songs, but they have their ukuleles together, and they have such a great energy. I yeah. love watching them. You two are adorable, and we're so appreciative. Thanks, Rylan and Katie. And then we had the hardcore honky-tonk mistress herself, <laughs> Shayla Miller. Doing some uh, rock country for us. She did a little Prince cover. She did. Hang on. Thanks. Thanks, Thanks a lot. lot. <laughs> Thanks, Shayla. Thanks, Shayla. Um, I pressured her into a third song, and it was worth it. Yeah, totally. Yeah. She's awesome. Mm -hmm. Oh, and then we had this really fabulous performer named Salem Salem singing a beautiful ballad from Land Before Time. <laughs> Miss Diana Ross herself. Yeah. Do you want to give us a sample? <laughs> Come on. People love when you sing. Uh, I'm like on the spot now and I can't remember the lyrics. I think it's something like... <laughs> Don't lose your way With each passing day You've come so far Don't throw it away <laughs> That's oh. it. That's all you Oh, have. I liked it. I liked it. Um, I don't know if I shared on my page. I don't know if this watching party is, but... Something Fine. looks cool to me. <laughs> so, if you want to comment on the page, we we can see your comments and you we can interact can. with us because we like interacting with you. Love it, in fact. Yeah. Um, so we had all these great performers. We had a great turnout. Mm -hmm. Good show. Good night. Met some great new sponsors. Um, of course, Drunken Sailor, Integrity Dental, and Jets Car Wash. Ooh, I was so excited about them. Those Thanks are just a, those are just a few. I mean. But uh, it was just nice to kind of reconnect with some of our past sponsors and new ones. And, yeah, you'll see full lists on our website, our Instagram, our Facebook. So and they'll get that little sticker in their window, and you'll know to go support them. Yeah. Uh, I know some of you listen to us on the radio, so you're not 
looking at us, but there's this little funny thing that Austin really enjoys about us, and he always makes us dress as a team. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> I'm gonna be like a superhero team. Yeah. Want to be the Justice League or the <laughs> Avengers or X Men. So if we get ready and he sees I'm wearing something that doesn't match his, he'll change his clothes. So yeah, um, I'll yell at him to change his. So I must say, which look is at- funny because growing up, uh, my brother can attest to this. If we ever wore similar clothes, I'd make him change out of them. Oh, so you're not my brother. That's for sure. No. No. I don't know why I said that, but you're welcome, world, for that uh, little tidbit of information. I was just saying we sure match on today's TV show. Well, very smoky. Mm-hmm. I don't know. My mom told us to not get ready and just like run to the show because we were literally rehearsing, like yeah, right. bare face, no hair, no Ooh. cute outfit. And she's like, run to the show and just go like that and let people know that... Sometimes we don't wear mascara. And sometimes <laughs> we're really freaking busy and, you know, we're just like switching hats quicker than we can put them on our heads. So (laughs) for those of you watching, this is all I did to get ready. See this? You clipped on a brooch. That's all I did. (laughs) Wow. Took me a little bit more than that. Here, I'm ready. Uh, So we had our great gala. Thank you to all the Pride Board and Jesse Victoria for organizing, uh, spearheading that, but also just everyone who was involved and getting that fundraiser. And I know everyone who saw the videos is having some FOMO and they want to know how do I get invited. Well, all you need to do is be a Lethbridge Pride Fest sponsor and come for free food, free drink, amazing entertainment next year. So watch for your invite, and when you get it, show up. Show up, because we, we could have had more of you there enjoying the show. It was a good time. We actually took a wall. We took a brick wall, and we put um, facts of queer uh, Canadians uh, on the bricks, and people could bid on the bricks, and they could... Uh, uh, just bid on them or purchase a brick to take down. So we were all about like, and they weren't actually bricks, they were cinder blocks, but it was very representative of like tearing down a wall and not building one, if you catch that reference. <laughs> and so it was also the 50 year uh, this year of Stonewall, and it's also 50 years of the decriminalization of homosexuality in Canada. Yeah, so we took down this brick wall with our sponsors, and it was really cool. 50 years of Judy Garland's death, too. It's a big year for a lot of things. So for your history. We uh, took these down, read the facts. So it was a really nice way to add some trivia, some history, and some honor, and just class up our event. I loved it. Mm-hmm. No building walls. Taking them down. Tearing them down. Tearing them. Brick by brick. So cinder block by cinder block. Last episode, Austin gave me shit and glares and squeezes under the table for talking with my hands too much. <laughs> I do this, people. I'm sorry. I'm animated. So I'm going to try to keep my movements to myself today. Well, your hands can go. Your elbows just need to stay in one spot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm uh, trying. Spells will abuse here unintentionally, you guys. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm getting the leg squeezes. Yeah, yeah. Go squeeze your leg. <laughs> Ooh, ah. <laughs> okay, so after our great event, we headed down to what weekend is it? St. Patrick's Day weekend. St. Patrick's Day. We can't wear green on the show because we're on a green screen and we would it would disappear. Yeah, we'd so, be floating heads. Yeah. But that might be a fun show to do one time. Yeah, like, I think ooh. it would be the skinniest I'll ever look on camera. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, yeah, when we film this show, we're in front of a big green screen, which you'll see the pictures on our Instagram. It's mm. always this green background. So green is a no-no for recording on Jess FM. But uh, all the parties were happening this weekend, and yeah. Sunday was St. Patrick's Day. Green lights, green clothes, green beer. And let's talk about, mm, can people be green with anger? Green with envy. Green with envy, but like, can they get mad? Like, the Hulk gets mad, he goes green. Well, he's a specific situation. All right, well, so like, you know, when the Hulk goes green and gets really angry, a lot, of, like me when I'm green. a lot of Canadians got really angry yesterday at Justin Trudeau. Oh, yeah, that's true. <clears throat> I thought that was so weird and funny. He simply said... Yeah, to all Canadians of Irish descent and those who are Irish for the day, happy St. Patrick's Day. And people flipped the fuck out. Like, calm down, people. They're like, that's cultural appropriation. Irish for the day, that's the cultural appropriation at its best. He's just getting a lot of backlash, and I'm like, come on, people. Like, he was just saying, happy St. Patrick's Day. And they're like, you should just be wishing that to the Catholics, because he's a Catholic saint. Yeah, oh yeah. Blah, 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 blah. You they're calling for him to resign over it. Yeah. I'm like, 
can he just like say happy St. Patrick's Day and people yeah. not get upset? Trudeau said, yeah, happy St. Patrick's Day. And for those of, to the Irish and for the, those are Irish for the day. And you want him to resign over that? Irish for the day. Not oh funny at all. Um, I'm of Irish descent, but I don't participate in Irish culture because I'm Canadian and I like only know Canadian culture. I've never been to Ireland. So you're not saying you felt culturally appropriated over that comment? No, like I, I feel like... Your culture's Canadian. My culture is a Canadian culture, even though I'm of Irish descent. Right. Um, and I want to talk about that. Like, I think people who live in Ireland participate in Irish culture. Mm -hmm. Or, like, if you're, like, first or second generation Canadians from Ireland, like, you still know that culture and live that culture and it's ingrained in you. But uh -huh. if you're getting into, like, third, fourth, fifth generation Canadian, you don't really participate in Irish culture. Unless your home really keeps that alive in your... And maybe it could, but, right. you know, like, at that point, you're pretty westernized. And Canadianized, you know what I mean? My so, blood. And I think there's only a very certain little group of people that could be offended by that and maybe he pissed off the whole country of Ireland. No. I don't think that happened. I think there's no. a lot of, like, butthurt Canadians over that one little comment. And I don't, I don't super understand why that, that got, got the backlash it did. Yeah. Anything to be pissed, I guess. Well, Tell us what you think about <laughs> Joseph and viewers. Am I being like crazy no. or do you agree with me a little bit? Well, what do you guys think? My my blood comes from Turkish descent. Mm -hmm. um, but you also have a lot of Irish. I'm Turkish, too. Irish, British, and many other countries. Yeah. But those are my major ones. But I mean, you know, like a lot of my family in Istanbul, I don't participate in their culture. I'm trying to learn about it. But, mm -hmm. you know, they're active Muslim and and you know living in istanbul a very worldly city and i mean i can't pretend to take that on because i'm not raised in their culture I'm, I'm canadian yeah you don't know their culture or the language you've like observed it but you haven't taken part in it you know to shuck the diem <laughs> i know a little bit <laughs> i probably said that wrong probably <laughs> so your cousin's name no <laughs> Oh, that's um, funny. So, we went out to Club Didi to celebrate uh, St. Patrick's yeah, Day. on a Saturday, but it was right after our gala, so none of us were wearing green. No. Maybe some of us were wearing a burgundy dress. Yes. With a lot of jewels. I wore gold. I was the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Oh, that's good. Thanks. I like that reference. Thank you. <laughs> um, and, you know... I, I got before I got it. I just remembered I hadn't. I didn't have one green beer this year. And every year I go out, usually to uh, Tap House or to Average Joe's, and I drink green beer. But we were so busy yesterday, we mm -hmm. didn't get to. And so I remember talking to uh, an Irish folk man, and <laughs> A uh, folk man. and I said, "Oh, do you have green beer in Ireland?" And he said, "I can't do the accent, so I'm not going to try to hurt anyone's feelings." So. We love our beer too much to put green dye in it. <laughs> and I was like, okay, good to know. That's, yeah. a, that's definitely a silly Canadian thing. Uh, I think a lot of people drink Guinness, and it's a little too dark to green up, mm. too. I don't know. It's just such a great excuse to get, like, drunk. I, yeah. I love day drinking, and I love um, holidays that revolve around it. So I'm always excited to, like, put on some green and head to the bar and listen to some bagpipes and drink. I would like to know the history of how St. Patrick's Day turned into a big drinking fest because I don't even know what St. Patrick was the patron saint of, but it was probably not drinking. Well, <laughs> he was Catholic and they allowed drinking. Well, all those saints are Catholic. <laughs> it's a Catholic observation, oh. but um, <laughs> I don't know. If, if someone where did that come from? If someone wants to comment on our live feed and tell us where St. Patrick's Day came from, we will give the I'd answer love live to know on the air. History on that. How did it become? Like, well, obviously St. Patrick is probably from Ireland, but how did it turn into a drinking fest? And where the heck did green beer come from? Was that just some like bastardized American Canadian version of it? I think so. But I'm sure I, that is more offensive than uh, Justin Trudeau asking yeah, the problem to is, have a happy St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, bastardizing our, bear, our beer. <laughs> <laughs> Although, I think after this show, we should go buy some food coloring and get a pint. Yeah? Mm -hmm. A little late? <laughs> Let's uh, put it in our diet 7-ups. <laughs> <laughs> really fuck with it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> 
So, yeah, like, where did, like, leprechauns get pulled into that and stuff? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I think a lot of our holidays get kind of watered down. I mean, you look at the history of fairy tales and Halloween and Valentine's Day, and it's... Yeah. Did you know Friday um, was the men's version of Valentine's Day? Oh, Steak and Blowjob Day. That's a real thing. <laughs> it's uh, one month after Valentine's Day, March 14th, and that's not a real holiday. That is some like misogynistic thing somebody made up as I, a joke. But, I was actually uh, shocked. I didn't get a steak or a blowjob. Not that anyone needs to know that, but that's pretty freaking creepy. I was shocked. That is creepy. My client was in my chair, and she's like, you know, a married mother of like with adult children, and her husband texted her. It was a uh, men's Valentine's Day, and she owed him a steak and a blowjob. And I was like, oh my gosh, I cannot hear those words coming from your mouth. <laughs> but then I looked it up, and I yeah. it's all over Instagram. So March fourteenth. I I didn't know you knew that. Yeah. Well, My I, brother like thinks it's just hilarious. Well, I didn't get either a steak or a white. Like that's a either. very <laughs> hetero thing, like white cisgendered male. Like, what do I get? It's right. one of those situations. I bought you flowers. Now, what are you gonna do for me? Yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> we went to Club Didi and we partied our face off. Uh, Didi da 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 was uh, DJing. Everyone was wearing green. I was really impressed by everyone's outfits. I didn't know that there were so many green corsets out there. Um, I have a comment from Tammy Mansi, who is actually one of uh, the Jess of M hosts as well. All right. Hi, Tammy. But she has told us the origins of St. Patrick's Day. Let's share that to our listeners. This is Thank great. Thank you for the quick Google, Tammy. So, St. Patrick's Day celebrates the Roman Catholic feast of the patron saint of Ireland. St. Patrick died on March 17th, uh, 461. But did you know that he wasn't even Irish? So we're celebrating his death? He was the patron saint of Ireland, but he wasn't even Irish. Hmm. And we're celebrating on his death day. So he wasn't Irish, but he was the saint of Ireland. Yeah, well, thank you so much for the quick Google, Tammy. Uh, now we know where it started from, so now I want to go on a YouTube uh, wormhole. Rabbit hole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, rabbit hole, not wormhole. I'm going to figure out some weird things later. And figure out why we decided to drink on his birthday. Probably because we were so sad he passed away. That's sad. Yeah, so we're going to drink our sorrows away with green food coloring. Are most holidays based on saints? Because Valentine. St. Valentine. Mm -hmm. Christmas with Jesus. <laughs> you know, Easter is a Catholic observation. Halloween with... um. That's pagan. Yeah. Well, all religions are pagan, pretty much. Okay, let's not get in trouble. <laughs> let's not get in, let's not get in trouble with our listeners. So anyway, had a great time uh, ringing in St. Patrick's Day at Club Didi. Yes, we did. Mm -hmm. uh, did a little lip sync performance mm -hmm. of a number I redid. That was fun. What what song is that? Left outside alone. <laughs> when it's cold out here. So dumb. <laughs> I don't feel safe. <laughs> Me either. <laughs> I can't sing. Don't. Um, well, that was fun. Everyone really got festive and mm -hmm. dressed up in their green and lots of shots. Yeah. So happy Saturday. And then Sunday, our hungover butts had to go clean the salon after that gala. And then try some choreography. Yes, we did that. And then we went and watched Captain Marvel again. We, we went and saw Captain Marvel, so now we're going to break away from our typical queer topics, and we're going to go into some nerd topics, mm -hmm. one of my very favorite topics. So since our show last week, mm -hmm. we talked about Captain Marvel, and we were just leaving uh, directly from here to uh, the movie theater to watch Captain Marvel, and we just went and watched it again last night. Uh, for those of you watching on our Jess FM Facebook page, Levi is doing something silly, so check, I was check just, us out on Facebook <laughs> to see that. I was just um, letting my Captain Marvel toy. She's flown into the theaters, a second number one movie, uh, two weeks in a row, and she's flying up to the cameras to show herself off. Brie Larson, we had a lot of talk about this last week, but we left the show, went and saw it, and had to go see it again. Yeah, so, so they did number one at the box office. They have now made seven hundred and sixty million dollars off. Or was Captain it at one hundred and sixty million? No, seven hundred and sixty in grand total. Okay. It, it did sixty nine million domestically again. Okay. But in total, now the movie has made seven hundred and sixty million dollars officially, and it has made its money back. And the interesting thing about that is, um, it cost three hundred million to make, and for some reason to break even after advertising, 
It's uh, 750 million, and it made it so they wrote a check to Scarlett Johansson, handed it over, and said we're going to make a Black Widow movie because now we know females can uh, lead a movie. Lead a movie. <laughs> That's so ignorant. I know. Thank you, Wonder Woman, and Charlie's Angels, and all the women who paved the way. Mm -hmm. Tomb Raider, they want to flux. But especially the modern versions like Wonder Woman has really yeah. helped pave the way. So Captain so Marvel. Captain Marvel got its uh, 22nd highest grossing superhero movie ever. Um, it probably will go up from there because we're only at like week, week two. two. Yeah. It beat out um, Ant-Man and Wasp. It beat out Thor Dark World, Iron Man 3. And it's only on its second week. So it's on to great things. Up, up and up. Although, you know. Someone messaged me because I posted on my story we were going to it again. And they go, I heard it was a festering pile of garbage. How was it? I really enjoyed it. <laughs> a I festering like it. pile of garbage? Since when has Disney ever made a festering pile of garbage? And how can uh, oh, hang garbage on. fester if we're talking about semantics here? Um, Race mm -hmm. to Witch Mountain it was kind of a stinker, but Disney can't get it right all the time. But... Um, Captain Marvel is a long-standing uh, character in the Marvel Universe. This was not made up to make a movie. Uh, and she's swooping in to save the Marvel Universe because April 27th, Avengers Endgame End comes out. Endgame. And I'll tell you, it's worth sitting in that theater for the the little Easter egg at the end of the credits. It's, you know, we love those from Marvel, and they gave us a good one this time. There was a lot of little Easter eggs in there. Mm -hmm. A lot of backstory, a lot of, like, explaining things and... Mm -hmm. Um, I won't say how, but we kind of like... I'll say Nick Fury starts out the beginning of the movie with two eyes, and he ends with one. I heard his eye got removed from torture from Kree soldiers. Is that what you heard? <laughs> <laughs> so, like, there's just, like, a lot of cool little nuggets that you find out. We know why the Avengers were created and how they were named. Mm -hmm. And so. we got to relive our teen years and go visit a blockbuster... And uh, listen to a lot of good 90s music. Like Elastica. A connection is made. Boom. I only like it when, when it rains. rains. A little garbage. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I'm just a girl. A little no doubt. Yeah. Really good soundtrack. So yeah. that'll have some <laughs> nostalgia boom. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Austin's looking like a five-year-old baby face. Well, thank you. That's Getting what younger every day. That's what happens when uh, Austin loses that beard for doing that's what drag. What happens when Salem comes out? I will say I look a lot more like my mother, <laughs> with no beard, uh, which is good that I don't look more like you, mom, with a beard. People say I look <laughs> like my dad. People say I look like me da. That's from, uh, uh, that's from Bewitched, one of our favorite <laughs> Irish girl groups. I wanted to uh, do that song, actually, at Club TV. I know. Uh, but we didn't have it. I listen. So, uh, <laughs> he listens, everyone. So uh, I see another comment, and this was our next topic, but I'm just going to quickly jump into it, because hello, Jacinda. We cannot wait to see you as well. Wednesday, we are flying... To Toronto, flying like a bird. <laughs> Fly like an eagle. No, it was like the flag of bird. It's a Mariah song. We are flying to Toronto to go see the one and only Mimi. Mariah Carey. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to go. I suggested Austin do our makeup like lambs because um, she calls her fans lambs or uh, lambly. We'll like that <laughs> RuPaul's Drag Race. Uh, uh, which sign are you challenge? <laughs> Which lambs? <laughs> yeah, all the Capricorns dressed up like lambs. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's <laughs> one. So uh, we're going to go see uh, Mariah Carey and our friends Tegan and Jacinda, two of our best friends. We went to Janet with them last year and got tattoos. So mine's kind of a shitty tattoo. It kind of lost the ink, so I should pick a better tattoo artist this time, but we're going to go. <laughs> well, last time you got your tattoo, we did a Janet Jackson concert, and then you got Janet Jackson's tattoo on your wrist. So uh, this time we're going to Mariah Carey. Will you get a Mariah Carey-themed tattoo, Levi? Maybe a glass of champagne. She likes that. Yeah, just tattoo it right to your palm <laughs> so you always have champagne in your hand. <laughs> or maybe I've got a big butterfly a on A butterfly face. on my face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm... I just might get a butterfly tattoo. Or a lamb on your tuchus. <laughs> I'm not getting nothing on my tuchus. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to Mariah Carey, so that's pretty exciting. We'll actually talk more about that at the end. We're going to go back to Captain Marvel. Oh. And, yeah, we just want to say, don't listen to those bossy critics. Go check it out for yourself. I really liked it. Oh, it was great. And, like, I will say there's a character in it, like, uh, that'll have you very endeared, like Groot did to Guardians of the Galaxy and... 
Aww. There's like a, a Groot quote quote in this one. Uh, there's a little precious sidekick who we liked. Yeah. So if you are going to wait to go see Endgame, you're going to want to go back and see this anyway because this fills in a lot of the blanks of where the event... They've just done such a great job of tying these movies in. Um, if you can sit through, like, no offense, but three Captain America movies, then you can sit through one Captain Marvel movie. I think it's way better than Captain America. There's uh, three Captain Americas, three Thors, three Iron Mans, Two Hulks. Two Hulks. Go, go check out... Three Guardians of the Galaxy. Two Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah. Go see Captain Marvel. Fantastic. Oh, there's two. Mm -hmm. And three Thors. Mm -hmm. Watch Captain Marvel. <laughs> three it really, like, ties everything together. It's so funny. Like, all these things, all these separate movies are all coming towards one point, which is Endgame, but Captain Marvel is, like, the last, like, everything together so they can go forward into Endgame. It's mm -hmm. like a big pyramid, and now we're at the top of the pyramid. Like a letter A. Oh, for Avengers. <laughs> so, yeah. That was good. I like the movie. Go watch it. Literally do not listen to all those shitty critics. Yeah. You make up your own opinion. If you hate it, you know, we're well, probably not friends. Plus, we always collect those cups from the movie theater. Mm -hmm. And then our cats drink out of them. So you can go get a new Captain Marvel cup so your cats can drink out of it, too. <laughs> <laughs> Our cats are so weird, and I don't know if we've talked about this before, but they won't drink out of a dish or a bowl. No. It's like only the tall cups Black from Cineplex, Cineplex that they drink out cups. of. And we got like other tall glasses, like those like uh, plastic um, solo cups. Du double hauled solo cups. And they wouldn't drink out of And they wouldn't drink out of them because they're like white on the inside. I don't know if they just can't see the water or what it is, but so they're like, if your cats, nope. Our cats are finicky and crazy. If your cat's dehydrated and you want a tip from some pro cat owners, Get in a Captain Marvel cup and uh, fill it with water and let your cat drink. Mm -hmm. um, okay, well, there we just uh, can't wait till uh, April 27th to go see Endgame, and we'll talk about that when that happens. Before that, we still get Shazam. Shazam, a little so, DC movie. A DC movie coming out right away. Um, I had no idea what Shazam was about, and I finally got to watch a trailer. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't know it was like a 15-year-old kid mm -hmm. who turns into an adult man superhero. Mm hmm That'll be some interesting action and probably some inappropriate jokes. Well, because I am a comic lover, I know all the little secret things. So if this movie does well, I already can foreshadow the sequel. Um, but there is a character in this movie named Mary Marvel. She's like mm -hmm. a female Shazam. But she becomes badass and gets a black costume and becomes the villain. Mm, what's the villain's name? Do you know? Mary Marvel. Oh, all the same. I, I she think it changed her name because she changed her attitude. <laughs> yeah, she, she puts on a black outfit and she's a bad girl. Well, sometimes you just got to have a bad attitude and smoke cigarettes. Yeah, I don't think she smokes. Well, she shoots lightning. She has a black outfit. She's obviously <laughs> evil. <laughs> so uh, we're going to go on to some news stories. And today, uh, MySpace was buzzing and upsetting people all around. I did not get on the MySpace kick. You were a MySpace. Base user. I did. I went on MySpace and Nextopia. <laughs> MySpace. I, a lot of like uh, relevant singers now or relevant celebrities got their kick on MySpace. Yeah, if you Light, secondhand serenade, Jeffrey Star even got famous on MySpace. MySpace was the number one social media platform, uh, 2005 to 2008. It was the first time we had uh, something like this online. So if this predates you, um, people were sharing music, putting up videos of them singing, much like YouTube mm -hmm. and uh, Facebook combined. But it was heavily used by artists and musicians. Mm -hmm. Well, oopsies, they dropped the ball. Anything over three years old on MySpace, they lost 12 years of music and video content. It is gone. So everything disappeared. I wonder how that happened. I Who think, did what? I think there could be a conspiracy against that because a lot of great music that started on there is now, there's not really record of it or proof, and mm -hmm. those people aren't going to probably repost it all. And maybe some of it were live videos that they only had done on there. So, um, But it wasn't all like recorded, or recorded artists either. That's like, what I mean. a lot of like YouTubers before YouTube. So you can go back and you could, like, uh, say they delete that. You could, like, go steal people's style and ideas and songs. And, mm -hmm. I don't know. It's scary. So um, they said, sorry. Oops. Yeah, hashtag oopsies. Twelve years of memories uh, gone down the 
Oh my gosh. Delete button. That's a <laughs> done, gone down to the belly button? Yeah. Delete button. Oh, delete. I thought you said belly button. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> so, I didn't MySpace, but I did buy some music from MySpace artists. Because mm -hmm. they had their own record label for a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Well, oopsies. Well, what else is buzzing in the world mm -hmm. is they say 35% of gay and bisexual men are now on PrEP. Isn't that shocking? 35%? Wow, that's a lot. Uh, PrEP is a medication that makes it almost impossible for you to get HIV with slash AIDS from taking a daily pill. Yeah, uh, it's basically a round of antiretroviral uh, medication. So it's like the treatment for HIV patients, but like kind of all condensed into one pill mm -hmm. that uh, you can take like, I don't know if it's weekly or monthly or. Um, and I'm sorry, Tammy, I just read your comment. Yes, like maybe hackers stole the music from MySpace. 12 years of input. Imagine if 12 years of your photos and albums deleted off Facebook because that's how a lot of people have their photos of their birthdays and parties are all on there. They're really crappy quality, but they are on there. And yeah, maybe hackers did go in there and steal these videos well, and videos. Come on, MySpace. Don't you have iCloud or something? <laughs> True. Um, but yeah. Oh my gosh. But can you imagine, like, even if I, like, dropped my phone in the water and didn't have my photos backed up, I'd be devastated. 12 years of my, like, music that I put out there. Yeah would be devastating. So, um, and then if you, if that happened to Facebook, you wouldn't have those annoying things like, this memory happened eight years ago. Mm -hmm. You dated this loser four years ago. Yeah, you went, you went to Mexico with that loser five years ago. <laughs> uh, what would I do without those memories? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Remember that guy? Remember her? That ex-employee who sucked? They're back on your page. Anyway. Um, yeah, so that's an interesting fact about PrEP. 35%. Yeah, 35% of men in North America are on PrEP, and Alberta just started covering PrEP on Alberta Healthcare. So mm -hmm. maybe well, that's. see in Ontario had it uh, for quite a while already. So you can take PrEP daily, and you can uh, not be as worried about catching HIV. Uh, does not mean you are not. Um, 100% immu immune. Or to other STIs. So still wrap it up and be careful. But um, another thing about that is they said that men of color, I don't know, that's what the article said, are not using it enough. This is mostly white men. Oh, the paranoid uh, people. <laughs> so white men are taking PrEP. Interesting. Mm -hmm. There's actually something called PEP, too. It's like a morning after pill. Mm -hmm. So if you thought you were exposed to um, HIV through uh, sex or drugs or needles or condom breaking or well, sexual assault. There's all these uh, situations, but there's actually something called PEP and you can take it like a morning after pill, like to, you know, oops, I might have got pregnant. It's like, oops, I might have got HIV. So you could take PEP after an accident or you can take PrEP and in preparation all year round. Yeah. Isn't that shocking? That is um, an interesting fact. Yeah. And I hope that a lot of people uh, do this so one day we can like eradicate HIV. Yeah, but like people aren't even vaccinating, so those things are coming back. Oh hell! <laughs> That's so, a whole other conversation. These anti-vaxxers. So I got one more little uh, fact of news for you today. Uh, since my his history is or my blood comes from Istanbul, Turkey, I found this one interesting. A uh, Turkish police officer oh, yes. was thrown in jail for being gay. And so what is happening is it's they've kind of cracked down on gay people in Istanbul, uh, which is really too bad. Um, is it just in Istanbul or in all of Turkey? Sorry, it's all in Turkey. It's all in Turkey. Uh, but most of their population is in Istanbul. Um, they have more population than Canada in, like, one city. So it's pretty crazy. So it's beautiful there, by the way. So this officer was dating a man for two years, and they suspected him of being a homosexual. So they took his boyfriend, and they boyfriend and interrogated him uh, intensely until he said that he was sexually assaulted by the boyfriend. So the police officer that was then arrested and yeah, they since let him out and the boyfriend said, I didn't really mean I was sexually assaulted. I was just being 
interrogated to admit this. So coerced. Coerced. So anyway, I'm really sorry for my friends in Istanbul. That's not very fair. Or in Turkey. I I hate the I hate that shit. It's yeah, just not very gay friendly <laughs> at all. Well, again, Canada's only been legal for uh, 50 years, and like we talked about, India just decriminalized homosexuality in October. Mm -hmm. so, Come on, world. Um, what else do we got going on? Um, well, the Diver Cabaret, we talked about it a little bit, but let's talk about that. It's coming up April 5th and 6th. You we can buy our tickets. We said that. Uh, but we're really um, getting it all together now. It's like kind of crunch time. we got two weeks left to prepare. Uh, but we did this... Uh, choreography for the group number, but there's a lot of really, really great kings and queens and bio queens and monarchs and a bunch of different titles coming. Well, this is our fifth year for the most fabulous night in Lethbridge, Alberta. It only happens two nights a year, and last year we did four shows. There's only two. We only have 180 tickets to sell, but we've already made a big dent in that. So if you sixty tickets. Even less. Oh, 160. So if you want to come, this is a way, a great way. If you're watching RuPaul's Drag Race on um, Netflix, well, you're not going to see it at the Diva Cabaret. <laughs> Just kidding. It's the closest thing you're going to get in Alberta and in Lethbridge. So a uh, really great uh, environment, Lethbridge Casino. You can order food, drinks. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll do photos with you. And it's a it, fun game. Yeah, you don't you have to feel like... Gamble in between sets. Yeah. You don't have to be like at a gay bar. If you just appreciate the art, the style, and the humor, you're just curious to check it out. It's really fun. Yeah. A lot of laughs. It's like a lot of really good comedy. Everyone always sees the pictures and videos popping up on social media right after our event, and they're like, when's the next one? And I'm like, next year. Another year from now. Um, we've talked about this before, but Lethbridge just has this, like, FOMO disease. Mm -hmm. Really does. <laughs> Uh, my mom is commenting, <laughs> saying, where do you buy tickets at? And you can get them at Catwalks, Lemon Spa, and at Drunken Sailor. Oh, my gosh, bar person, cash only. I would love if you came to the Diva Cabaret. <laughs> um, your almost son-in-law is uh, co-hosting. Yes, you Or are. hosting, and then I'll have co-hosts. So, anyway. I'm gonna, we're going to do some fun games this time. So if you like audience participation and you want to get pulled up on stage with your favorite queen... You put your hand up. You put your hand up and you got to be <laughs> in that audience. If it's your birthday, I'm sure we could do that like Katy Perry song for you, that it's your birthday, bring out the big balloons, you know that weird one. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> It's a perfect way for girls' night out. Like if you're coming to this, you can't overdress. No, like, because where... you'll still look dowdy next to <laughs> these like sparkly, glittery, eight-foot-tall women. Um, <laughs> if you, yeah, so I really, really encourage you to come to the Lethbridge Casino. All the proceeds go to Lethbridge Pride Fest, where mm -hmm. we do programming for the community all year round, so that's pretty cool. Um, I will say it's always so fun to work with the casino, too. They are, are so easy to work with, mm -hmm. and they're really appreciative of, um, like, just what we bring, and they're so fun to work with. They are very welcoming uh, casino for Alberta. I love, love, love working with them. Well, and I'm not a gambler. I actually just cannot be bothered gambling. I'd rather just buy stuff. So. That's me too. I'd rather travel or like buy some necklaces or something. Buy some action figures. <laughs> so but I love going there. Yeah, this gives um, a reason to go to the casino. So if you're not a gambler, but it's like, hey, what am I going to do in Lethbridge? And you've kind of done the same pubs and bars and movies already in restaurants. Come to the casino. They have a full great menu. They had and their food is amazing. Well, they, they have a great menu at the casino and it rotates like seasonally. But I think it's last so year they delicious. got new a new kitchen. They got like new chef and new menu. So mm -hmm. the food is really good and they have it's like always a, good. a bakery. There's like pie. <gasps> Pies. <laughs> uh, <laughs> another coincidence uh -huh. uh, with uh, Steak and Blowjob Day. It's oh. also Pie Day. Is, <laughs> is, is March 14th? <laughs> yeah. Pi. Three point one four one five nine. I didn't actually understand what Pi Day was. Like so I, pi, I know the, the number pi. pi. Yeah. Which is three point one four one five nine three six five. But whatever. what's Pi Day? March fourteenth. Three point one four. Oh, that went right over my head. I kept seeing people Which, posting Pi Day. And yeah, was, so everyone's posting pies, and then all the straight guys are posting their uh, blowjobs and steaks. You just want to keep saying that word. Blowjob, blowjob, blowjob. <laughs> <laughs> so for the Diva Cabaret, uh, we are 
not just doing this with Lethbridge Pride Fest, this is a first, we are actually joining up with Dream House. Mm -hmm. Dream House. House. Dream House is a new group in Lethbridge uh, doing performances and events. Um, they've just gotten their start and they're doing a great job and they do them over at Stoketown. And you can watch um, the current season of RuPaul's Drag Race with them and they always have a performer and drag host. So again, another way for if you're curious about this entertainment. Really, when you get drag, you get glamour, you get comedy, you get funny, you get spooky. It's it's really a fun way to entertain. So mm -hmm. if you've been curious, check out uh, Dreamhouse. Uh, their events are on Facebook and Instagram. And, and it's like every Thursday right now. Yeah. Uh, with this season. Yeah, so every Thursday night at Stoketown, you can go watch the current episode. And I'm just so excited to collaborate with these guys. Me too. Usually we collaborate. Guys and girls, everyone. I, you know what I meant. Mm -hmm. These peeps. These peeps. <laughs> um, usually we collaborate with Club Didi. Uh, they're still in our pocket, and they're going to still have performers. We're in their pocket. We're in each other's pockets. Yeah, but they're just, like, really busy. They just did uh, Pretty Witty and Gay. They oh just did goodness. a play. They have so many productions going on right now. They have, yeah. like, um, it's not, it's something drunk something or other, but it's not improv. It's, like, an actual play. That's coming up soon as well. Yeah. I'm butchering this description, Diani or Jay or anyone, if you're watching this, I'm so sorry. They're also doing nude yoga Monday night. Ooh. That's nude. tonight. Nude. I guess tonight. Yeah. Nude yoga next door. In the buff. I could not do that. I could. Downward dog in front of someone? Yeah. Maybe he's an upward cat later. Oh my god. <laughs> it's not sexual. I'm just kidding. Um, I think that would be fun to go to. Gross. <laughs> For me. My own, my own this issues. Guy, this guy here. My own issues. Um, so, yeah. Buy your tickets tomorrow, cash only, at Drunken Sailor and at Catwalk Salon Spa. Mm -hmm. You can do corporate tables. It's a little bit cheaper, and you get a booth mm -hmm. for you and your friends. We've already sold six booths. That's a lot. There's not that many booths. No. Well, we have booths and tables, and mm -hmm. then... Mixed tables. So April 4th and 5th, if you are having a birthday or a divorce or a Hanukkah, that's not a Hanukkah, a bar mitzvah or whatever you're having, come and watch and celebrate with us. Yeah. Come and watch. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited. Girls night out. And your your husband won't be jealous because you're watching dudes in dresses and women in men's And if clothes. your husband's jealous, kick him to the curb. Yeah. You don't need that. So our, well, last, our last topic is back to our diva talk. Yeah. Our Mariah Carey. Okay. Are you going to do any Mariah Carey numbers at the Diva Cabaret? I don't believe so, but you never know what will inspire me. I have a couple of weeks to plan it out. I will say I have a very unexpected number uh, coming this year. What? A little, like, uh, I don't know. It's going to be like a gender fuck. Oh, yeah, yeah. Don't, don't tell all your I'm details. I'm not telling yeah. anything, but that's... Austin's going to uh, do something very interesting. I'm doing something a little different this year. He's going to do a celebrity impersonation. Mm -hmm. um, are you going to sing live at the Diva Cabaret? I don't think so. Not this year. I have a lot on my plate yeah. organizing this stuff. and You could close with a song. I could. You never know. Well, something exciting is we're going to do our very first duet. Yes, we are. We've never performed so together. Old school can't be drag, everyone. So... We're going to be trying not to tear each other's throats out as we rehearse this number because... Oh, the, it'll be fun. Oh, I don't know. It's just something about working with your partner. Yeah. Something about working with your partner. Yeah. <laughs> we work together all the time. It's going to be so fun. Yeah. I'm really, really excited. Um, we have an excellent cast this year. Mm -hmm. uh, lots and lots of really cool, diverse people. It's going to be a great show. I'm going to try and do something I've always wanted to do, but I've been so intimidated to do. And I'm going to finally do a song by my favorite musical artist, Janet Jackson. But it's just so intimidating because uh, Janet, every song has a choreographed dance routine, and I'm just not, can't do the choreo. So I think I'm going to try and shake my fears away and just go have some fun to a couple of my favorite Janet Jackson tracks. Excellent. Mm hmm I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> um, some of the, the people performing um, are Vivian Bhutan. Mm -hmm. uh, we have Killa Watt. We have Sally Adams. Chrissy Cox, Salem Salem. Uh, we have uh, Tutti Fiore. 
Uh, we also have Tony. We got well, Tony. We're not talking about that. Oh, because it's a secret. <laughs> you little jerk. <laughs> um, we also have Francesca Dynamite. Yeah, we have Arya Ivory. Oh, I love Arya. Uh, we have another bio queen. I cannot remember their name right now, so I'll have to get back to you on that. But we have a burlesque performer coming from Calgary, uh, and I know their real name. I don't know their stage name, so I won't say that either. Uh, who else do we have? We have. A really big Sophie, cast. Sophie Wright. Oh yes, and Mama Dee Dee, Dee Dee Da Da Da. She's coming out this year again yeah. to support us on the f Saturday. I'm gonna really miss um, Pearly Pussy Toes oh, moved to Calgary. Pearly Pussy Toes. Pearly's moved and away. And Carissa Jane, our burlesque performer, usually partners with us. She's not gonna be here this year either. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we got like a really, really great cast. Um. Oh, Dana Demento. Oh, Dana Demento. How could we Demento. forget that bitch? <laughs> Love her. <laughs> She's one of my favorite performers, honestly. This oh. massive, massive drag queen who just has the biggest, most amazing personality and really cool, funky numbers. You never know what she's going to come out as, like no Cynthia, Cynthia the <laughs> from the Rugrats, Rugrats or covered in blood. You don't know. Or a gimp mask. So yeah. you, just, you just know what you're going to get. Amazing performer. <laughs> so enough about our Diva Cabaret, but we're going to see you there. Come say hi. Get a photo. Mm -hmm. We would love to have you there. Um, but I want to just finish off with just a little bit more Mariah Carey information and facts. Mm -hmm. Mariah Carey is doing her tour. It's called Caution. Mm -hmm. Oh. My mom's laughing. Oh, thank you, Barb. Here, did you like the almost son-in-law stuff? <laughs> um, Mariah Carey Caution Tour. Mariah Carey Caution Tour. So our friend Tegan has ordered caution tape and he wants us to wear caution tape as our outfits at the concert or at least accessorize. So and we wear all black all the time, so I think some yellow caution tape will be easy to fashion a little Maybe accessory a out of. Yeah, choker necklaces, we can have <laughs> bracelets, armbands. Ooh, we can make like harnesses out of caution tape. Well, we're going to try and make some stuff out of caution we tape. We are fucking extra. So on our social media. <laughs> yeah, we're like, so extra. Last time when we got together, we went to the Janet Jackson tour, and we all dressed as Rhythm Nation. Yeah. That was really like, epic. I a sparkly like, hat with um, the 19... Was it 1948? What's on the 1814. pins? 1814. 1814 on the pins. We did that. It was really cool. That so, was a cool addition and, that you did. And I ordered us something special from AliExpress, but you I don't did. know if it'll be here. Oh. Uh Fake Mariah Carey diamond encrusted, diamond like rings. encrusted uh, butterfly rings. Mm -hmm. So, why don't you get the fuck out? <laughs> so, anyway, when we get back, we'll be actually be back Sunday, so we're not going to miss next Monday. Which is excellent because we will have lots of things to talk about. Lots of, like, scandalous, delicious little details. We're going to go to Drag Queen Bingo in Toronto Woo! so we can learn a little bit because we're going to put on our very own Drag Queen Bingo here in Lethbridge. Mm -hmm. I will have my little notebook out and I will plagiarize the shit out of them. Yeah, so we're going to come back with some good stories for you next week. Um, but we're also going to have a special guest next week. Mm -hmm. I'm going to keep it under wraps for now. Oh. But you've had us to yourselves, and we've reconnected. We've rebonded. We, we know where we're at. We're good, right, audience? So next week, we're going to introduce a new friend to you, and we're going to have a guest. Ooh, I have no idea who this is, so I'm excited to find out myself, everyone. You know who it is. Probably. I yeah. only half listen lots of times. I'm a man. <laughs> it's not my fault. Well, we're going to promote <laughs> some of... Uh, Lethbridge's upcoming events with a very great guest next week. Excellent. Oh, do you know who we have to have on the show? Who? Um, oh my gosh. <laughs> um, oh man. We're supposed to have her back. Shayla? No. Um, we, we canceled a show with her. Oh my gosh. I'm the worst. Amanda. No. Julie. See, at least our producer, the lovely Jesse, is paying attention. Julie, we are going to get you on the show. Oh, maybe Julie Ruin. Maybe actually on uh, Monday. So maybe we can do two guests, one in the first half hour, one in the second half hour. Excellent. And then Sounds you won't like have to hear show. us ramble so much. <laughs> I, 